Here at the Australian Grand Prix meeting at Warwick Farm, cars are on the grid for the Chesterfield Touring Car Challenge Race. When I was about 22, 23, uh, I had built hot rods right up to there, and I managed to get hold of a Ford development car, the face Ford GTHO, and I found it was so good, and that sort of swapped me to touring cars. I just sort of took on this thing of looking after them because they were all just drifting away, sitting in paddocks and things like that. No one else was looking after them. No one else was assembling Australia's motoring history. And I thought I might end up with, say, between 10 and 12, you know, some number like that. Oh, that was as many as I could handle. And uh, I, but then one thing led to another. I never thought I'd end up with about 80. The car that Gagan's driving now is a fairly new gadget. It's not been raced by Gagan for very long. I think he's still trying to get its measure. I suppose the Super Falcon is my favourite, and that, I suppose, would be because Pete Gagan was such a good mate of mine. And that car was, was at the peak of his career when he was at his very best. And it was a handful, and so I suppose I, I feel like I've owned it since 1970, so it's very close to my heart. When I found the Super Falcon, which Kingsley Hibbard had bought from Pete, I nearly cried, you know, it was such a mess. Spent better than 100000 on restoring the car, and it's a priceless car now. Buying Alan Moffat's Trans Am from him was a, a focal point. I bought that car in 1995, yeah, 18th of May. And it's a day I'll never forget. And uh, it meant a lot to Moffat because he'd had it then for um, 25 odd years and um, parting with the car. But he'd seen that, what we'd done with the Super Falcon, and he knew that's what the Trans Am needed. We were after a GT40. I went and looked at one at the States and I wasn't happy about it. So this great one came up for sale at Silverstone. We bought the car, we finished on it at the auction and then negotiated the next day. And uh, we got the car and we flew it home on a 747 with us. That was a pretty good act. One, two, seven, eight of the order, one, two, seven, eight. I do get a huge degree of satisfaction in that I've saved some of the lives of some of the cars. I love them like grandkids, but I wouldn't be surprised that say on about 20 of them, they would have been lost. Uh, perhaps just ground into the, the racetrack or the roadway or people wouldn't have known what they are. So we've probably saved a few lives there.